Hey, 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 what's up, Boneheads? Chickamon here playing Ark Survival Evolved, and today we're finishing the barn. At least the exterior part of it, because we still need a roof, and we need to do a couple of things on the inside, but most, uh, mostly it's just finishing up the exterior part. And um, I hope you enjoyed the last video. I really, really enjoyed building it so far. It's, it's an amazing structure. It's, it's simple, it's kind of square, but it still looks kind of cool, you know, and I like that. I like that about Ark, and there's many things we can still do at the end, but what I did in the meantime, um, I, I, you know, I placed all the railings up here and stuff like that, and I placed a wall on that side, because that's basically something you guys don't have to, you know, you don't have to see that. It just costs a lot of time to do, and I basically went with exactly the same pattern as we have on the other side. That's all I did. I just placed that. And also, actually, one more thing. I placed a lot of uh, electrical wiring in the in the grounds. Because that's another one of those things. Like, I have a Jenny right here. It's another one of those things. <laughs> you guys don't need to see that, you know? And that's all I did, I swear. I didn't do anything else. Uh, I did do a little bit of test building to see how we, uh, how we can make this look pretty cool. And I think we're going to be going with a glass roof. A humongous greenhouse roof. And it, I think it's going to look really cool. But first things first, I want to I wanna fix this little corner here. And I want to get the gate at the front in there. Because it kind of looks, you know, kind of open right now. And I don't like it that way. And I need to gate in there to figure out the roof. Uh, you know, how it's going to end and stuff. So, um, yeah, first this hole here. I thought about it. And I kind of thought, you know what, if I put a railing here, it's kind of cool. Because we can look downstairs. But honestly, there's not a whole lot to see. Yeah, I mean, we can see the, the, the artifacts if we look real hard, but that's about it. So what I thought is why don't we make it ramps all the way around? It's going to be kind of, it's going to be kind of cool. It's going to have a cool look. And how do you do that? And this is, this is one of those things. You've got to do this properly. And I should do it right the first time, but you know how that stuff goes. We want the ramp to go with the corner, right? So we place a triangle right here. And then you have that problem that you can't place a triangle on the other one. That would have been perfect, because that makes a perfect corner. But if you keep going on this one triangle, and keep going, it's actually going to collide with the actual other side again. It skipped one foundation in the meantime. So, if you do it like that, you can just snap these guys in here, and it should only leave a small little hole. That's, that's about it. There we go. See, it's a small hole. It's not, not something I would be concerned about. You can't fall through it or anything. There you go, you go over there. See, it's a, it's a little tiny hole. And I would have to try very hard to even try and fall through it. I don't think it's possible. So yeah, look at that. We have a cool corner here. I think it looks great. And since that fiber plant is here and I can't get rid of it, trust me, I have tried. Um, if It looks fine. I think that looks really cool. Definitely. Definitely. That's a keeper. Now... I said before, this is something I want to park birds at, uh, even though I'm not going to have birds. I may tame a few, but I'm never going to use them. I do want my friends, if they're coming over, to be able to park their birds in the proper proper spot. So I want to basically just have an open hole in the wall. And then you can fly your bird in there, because I thought about it, and I really, really, really wanted to have one of those diagonal uh, behemoth gates. But it's just too big. It's way too big. And the building would get even larger. And I don't want that. So we're just going to make a hole in the wall. And we're going to make it look, you know, as good as we can possibly get it. Uh, should we do that right now? Or should we place the gate? We're placing the gate. I want that gate. I'm not put in, putting a door in it yet, though. Um, so I thought about the gate. The gate could sit right here. On this, on this line where the ramps are going to be at. And it would look good. It, you know, it's fine, but I added a triangle at the end, and this makes for a whole different look, because the gate is actually as wide as the, the tips of the triangles, which makes it really, really cool to look at. And if we get the gate out, is, is the gate in my hand? Yeah. And we look down, we crouch, we press K. Okay, there we go, we got the gate. I'm going to make sure that it's in there as straight as I can get it, and touching the walls. Because when you place walls on those triangle triangle foundations, uh, they kind of stick in into the, the behemoth gate. And that makes it look really, really cool. Now, how am I going to get this guy straight? I think I'll use the flat end of the triangle. 
Yeah, it's definitely not straight right now. We need to go right. Just the tiniest bit. Let's find out. It's touching there, it's touching there. Yeah, I think this is as straight as we can get it. So we're going to move back. And you can do two things. You can either have the gate, you know, sit like this. That looks kind of cool, but we're going to have the stone sticking out on the inside. Now, if you don't mind that, that's fine. You know, I don't mind it personally, but I kind of want to try and get rid of that. So I'm going to keep walking backwards until we get rid of it. The problem is, as you can see, the walls are starting to, like, not touch the behemoth gate. Because it's wider than those walls. So we could go with this. It's, it's just barely touching it right now. Uh, and it will look fine. It, there's, there's no problem whatsoever. Uh, I don't know what to do. I kind of like it like this, honestly. You're not going to see it. It's because the gate is going to sit where um, where those those lips are that are sticking in to the inside. It's actually going to sit on my uh, camera side right now. So the gate will, I think, actually sit inside of the walls. Yeah, I'm going to place it. Never touch it again. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's nice. Let, let, let me have a look here. So yeah, the walls aren't touching it. They are touching it on the outside, by the way. Don't worry about that. Like, there's no there's no one getting in there. But right here, you can see there's a hole. The good thing is the gate will sit in that hole. Uh, I'm going to grab the gate. I'm going to put it in there anyways. So we can see if it's, you know, if it's blocking stuff. Manual. Open up. Alright, close up. Oh man, the, ah, the gate's actually sitting in between the two pillars. I didn't, I never noticed that. But this is still fine. It's completely shut off. There's no way someone's getting in here. And I think this looks a lot better. Because we got, like, the whole ramp deal going on here. I'm actually going to fill this up. There we go. Look at that. That is really cool. I like it. And the main reason I did this is because we have those balconies up there. If I would have placed the gate, like, right here on this flat line of the triangle, it would have, like, gone through the balconies every time it opened up. And I, I, I you know, I just don't like that. Now, it's still going to do that. Don't get me wrong. It's just going to do less. If I open it on this side, it should go in. There we go. Yeah, see, it's still going to do it, but I don't think it's going to push any dinos away or anything. So that should be good. That should be all right. Good. I like the gate. You can stay. And I'm opening you like that. Okay. Next order of business. We need to build some... Oh, Jesus. I'm getting the gate out. We need to, uh, we need to build the access point for the birds. Because if we do that, we can actually get the roof on. I think. I hope. Please. <laughs> that would be amazing. And I'm going to grab a couple of roof parts. Because I made a lot of them. I calculated it very, very precisely. How many I would need. And I would I, I added an extra few. You know, always craft a few too many. Dang it. Why are we so heavy? You know what? I'm going to dump a few of those. I need two more. It's 12 for each row. And... Dang it, I need two of these. One, two. Okay, it still loves me. Good. Okay. No, it doesn't. There you go. Fixed it. We got everything we need. And the thing is, to have something like a hole in the wall, for me personally, I despise having holes in walls without any gates in it. It just looks like crap. But there are a few solutions to make it look less crappy. And I'm going to show you one of them today. Just one random solution. Um, let's lose a little bit of weight. Because we're going to need these guys up there for the roof. And you will see why that is when we actually get the wall in. There we go. We're rid of some weight. I'm going to grab these guys. We're going to remove these ceilings. And the reason I'm going to do that is so that the walls line up and they don't snap to the ceilings. Very important. This should be the right height. Yeah, good. We're just gonna place these. It's just gonna like fill it in, because S plus has some has some really cool characteristics. If you put a roof, even if it's a slope roof, if you put a roof down on it, it will actually support the wall. You can hang a wall from the roof. You can't actually attach it to the roof, but when you have the wall first and then add a slope roof, 
it will actually hold up that wall. It's kind of cool. I love that. Um, all right, there we go. That's a closed. That's a closed hole. Now. Why did I add those triangles? The main reason... Actually, I didn't have to do that. Never mind. I thought I had to do it with the triangles, but I think they changed it. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and remove those. We're going to need these guys on this side. Like that. And that's going to go all the way to the other side. It's going to keep going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Because I like that kind of roof. That kind of roofing is it's just awesome. And it's going to have a flat part here, because this is the only flat part... And I still regret not doing the entire building like this. Because I like this portion more than the entire rest of the building where it just comes together like this without a straight piece. Regrets. You, you're going to have regrets when building things. It's just, it's just something that happens. Let's see. We're grabbing greenhouse triangle roofs. And we should be able to just place them like that. Yeah, there we go. See? I thought I was going to need triangle ceilings to do that. To do that. Obviously we don't. So that's that's good stuff. Look at that. Oh baby. I love that. Dang it. Don't shoot even there. There you go. I love those kind of roofs. It's so cool. Look at that stuff. That's that's really cool. Oh god, mistakes were made. Nope, oh, there we go. We're good. We're fine. Now we need a couple more things because I couldn't carry it. We're gonna need two fence foundations. I took metal. I don't know why, I just did. And we're gonna need a few small pillars, let's say four. And what else? What else, chicken? What do you have? That's the roof. We're gonna need a couple of these. I'm not sure how wide is it again? Seven or something? Uh, that's fine, we'll take this. And we'll take. Can we carry this? Oh, yeah, we can. Two more of those. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Dump those. We're good. We can go. Now, to, to, as far as the roof goes, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you a little bit of it, but honestly, you guys can guess how the rest goes, and I'm just going to build it off camera. Basically, it's just going to sit right here, sloped and all, in its glory, like that. And it's going to go all the way to the other side, and it takes a really, really long time to place it all in there, because every time I place it, I have to press Q first. There we go. Q. And there we go. Oh, thank you. And that's that's how it's going to sit. And it's going to look amazing, I promise you. It really is. Uh, can we do this without... Yeah, without Q, let's go. And the last one. Ooh, that's not good. Snap to that one. Dang it, why do you mess with me? There you go. Place that guy back. Problem kind of solved. I don't know why that one attaches and that other one doesn't, but we'll we'll figure it out later. And and now the cool the, this, I want to say cool thing, but it's not a cool thing. The stupid thing is the roof is going to have one row of ceilings in it. Um, as I said before, I regret not doing the entire building that way because this looks really really awesome. I love this. You got stone glass and then you know glass again. Glass, stone, glass. And if it would continue all the way down there, that would look amazing. The only problem is, it's going to be glass, stone, glass, all the way to the end. So see how I did that? I, I, I took a, a lot longer to say the word glass, because it's, yeah, a lot of glass. Yeah. So, um, I might put some glass ceilings in there. I'm not sure yet. Probably. I'll probably put some just glass or greenhouse ceilings in here. It's going to look better. I'm 100% sure it's going to look better. We're going to go ahead and place you. And this is how we're just going to go all the way to the other side. It's not that hard. There we go. I'm just going to keep it like this for now so we don't spend too much time on it. But yeah. Uh, let's have a look at our roof. Don't fall down. Dang it. I mean, we can kind of see it. That's pretty damn awesome. I love it. That's a cool roof. Okay. Okay, more to do. A lot of things to do. Oh man, we're running out of time. That's fast. Um, so, as I said, the slope roofs, now they're in there, should support these walls, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I like it. That's good stuff. Four. I'm going to skip one on uh, uh, one straight one on each side, 
Um, because it just looks better. I just know it does. Going to remove these, and these are being kept up by the slope roofs. It's kind of weird how that works, but it, it works, and I'm fine with it. Saves me a lot of hassle. And now, pillars. Pillars are annoying. They won't go anywhere except for the middle. And, you know, in some occasions it will go to the sides. I just don't know what the occasion is. So, what I do is I get one of these guys. I just kind of aim it right here in the middle. And then place that. And then we can put a pillar on the side. We have a pillar. It's not that hard. Don't even have to like aim it that well. Just make sure that the point is on, you know, on the halfway on on the wall. Kind of like this. Bam. Put a pillar in there. Problem solved. And now it actually looks a lot better as a hole in the wall because there's pillars there. Normally it would look really crappy because you have those, you know, those wood things sticking out on the sides. Uh, this this looks pretty good. I wish I could put some pillars on the ground and on the ceiling of this hole, but honestly, this isn't that bad. I don't mind it. Good! Another thing done. We're, we're moving at great speeds. Um, we did that, we did that, we did that. I gotta do the entire roof before the end of the episode, but I'm gonna cut that all out. And... We have electricity. Oh yeah, we gotta do the... Oh god. The worst thing ever. We gotta do the hallway. And I don't mean the hatchery hallway, I mean the actual hallway to get in the building from the house. And that one is a, that's, that's a rough one. That's really rough. Because I don't know where to go. That's the best I can tell you. I have no idea because I couldn't practice it before the episode. Since when, you, when I remove a foundation, I'm not getting that back in. It's just, it doesn't work. So I couldn't try it out first. So bear with me, guys. If I mess up, you know, uh, whatever. It happens. We're going to grab some walls. I'm just thinking, like, I'm sitting here thinking, what am I going to need? Grab that, grab that. We need these guys. There we go. I want some of these guys. Because that's going to look really cool. And, ooh, 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 foundation. Slope wall. Dang it, we're getting heavy. Two foundations. We should be good. Should be good. Let's go. Oh, heavy. Alright, so I'm talking about this entrance right here. This is like kind of the entrance I want to... If I come from the house, I want to enter right here. Instead of going all the way to the front of the building. And um, this entrance is going to lead into this hallway here. If I do it right. If I do it wrong, we end up at one of the uh, artifacts. And I have to rethink that entire hallway. So, you know, let's let's pray. Let's pray that doesn't happen. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some foundations right here. And possibly somewhere else. Because I want these um, these ramps to fit in nicely. And basically what happens if it, I can do that right here. You're not going to notice that, that hole there. But when I do it right here. You, yeah, there's a big hole. So that's why I placed the foundation. I can do another one right here. And we keep that as a hole, or we we get a foundation in there in some kind of way. But honestly, I don't mind this. It's a really, really tiny hole. So we just go ahead, place one of these guys in there. Wrong one. That one. Bam. And it looks good. It's fine. Now we now have a ramp. Good stuff. Alright, let's see. Gate first. Probably. Let's get the gate in. It's easier to place it when there's nothing here. Why are you? What the crap? Don't snap to things. I never asked you to do that. Oh, you're gonna snap to the foundation. I see what you're doing. Yeah, let's not do that right now. There you go. There you go. Goodbye. Now it's not gonna snap. We'll replace those later. All right, let's see. Let's get back here like that. Get it straight in there. This is pretty darn straight. Get it on the point. A little bit of uh, a little bit of the ramp is sticking through on this side, and a little tiny bit on that side. I would call that straight. I'm just gonna go ahead and place it. The gate's gonna sit between those two pillars, so right around there. Never touch it again. Sweet. I want this guy here. Look at that. That's that's perfect. Oh yeah, look, it's going into the gate. It's amazing. 
we're gonna go get a greenhouse window in there place place another wall on that just a little bit of aesthetic stuff there we go there we go and today everything's going well I feel like Bob Ross you know it's like I'm just gonna place this here and all of a sudden it looks awesome that that you know that Bob Ross feeling everyone has it sometimes we're gonna go ahead and place this guy right here we should be able to attach all these guys to him no I don't want you to go like that there you go should be able to come on you need to go right in the middle between those two Q Q Q Q there you go and then we should be able to oh yeah look at that this is gonna look so ridiculously awesome wait what where are you going is this a thing we can fill in kind of what hold on this guy is supposed to be here I know that cuz I I tried this before but why is that guy weird we gotta figure this out it's of great importance that we do get this guy in there oh I see probably this something like this and then fill that hole how do I get to that hole remove things there you go I should be able to hang one of them from that guy ah oh, come on we could place this guy here and no one's ever gonna know as long as you guys don't tell anyone it's gonna be fine okay okay let's go let's get okay don't do it fine good oh running low on time chicken gotta go faster I'm trying to do this without cutting the video I don't know if you noticed that but I'm moving extremely fast or you know as fast as I can possibly build and we're placing this guy here bam no one ever notices don't you guys even dare telling anyone right next part and this is the part that I haven't practiced we're gonna get that hallway done properly in one try if I mess it up we are screwed let's see I need to go down one level so that's fine I can do that it should be two levels actually uh, uh, make a ramp please there you go dump all that crap okay we're just gonna make a hole and see what happens alright deal I think it's a deal Actually, we're going to wait until the daytime, because it's actually getting really dark right now. And I don't want to build in the dark. It's bad. Oh, yeah. Glass door. I like it. And, uh, yeah, we're going to wait for morning, guys, and I'll see you guys in a sec. I guess I filled the whole no-cutting business. Uh, I think I'll just build the, the roof in the meantime. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys. It's daytime again. It's been daytime for a while, but um, the roof is on. Look at that. How awesome is that? Um, I fixed a little, a little, little difficult part of the gate, though. Um, see, the gate has this thing going in. Oh dang, we can't see a darn thing here. And you can, you can't really see it. There we go. I put these triangle glass ceilings in there, and they were, they're just supported by that one little triangle ceiling in the corner there. I can't get rid of them; it will collapse. I tried, and it cost me a lot of crystal, but. Um, I think this looks fine. It's actually really sealed off really well. Uh, and we have a house buff. We have a house buff. We don't have a house buff right here. Somewhere on one spot we don't have a house buff. But that's just how Ark is. Uh, I'm actually really, really happy that there's a house buff going on. That's crazy cool. Usually when you have a big behemoth gate on your base, there's no house buff. Um, I had to remove the behemoth gate and I decided to place it back with the thing sticking inside so that the gate actually lines up with the walls. That's another thing. But yeah, stuff to do. Moment of truth. We need to get this sorted. <sighs> I'm scared. I'll be honest with you. This this is one that needs to go. Like I just want I, I just want to carve one path out, and we got to count this. Can you stay open, manual? Okay, so we got, let's see, we got wall, foundation, so we should be right there in the wall right now, which is already one away from where we need to, need to go down, so, 
Oh, perfect. I can see the light from the freaking thing here. Um, that way. Oh, baby. Oh, dang it. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. I can fit in here. This is good. We just remove this guy. Oh, there we go. No, oh, give me a ramp. Give me a ramp. Some ramp action right here. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, I like it. This is good stuff. This is really good stuff. I don't even mind that there's... I could place a wall right here, but I kind of like it. It's kind of cool when you come in here and you see this. Or when you come down and you see that there's like a hallway going... Oh, this is not bad. Now, I could get rid of these parts here and make it like a big... A big thing, but I kind of like the secret hallway deal. You know, I'll just... I don't know. I don't know yet. I uh, I may remove this one right here. But as I said, if I do, there's no going back. So it's one of those things I need to think about. I could possibly make it kind of go in with the slope roof. So, it, you know, it shrinks. But I, I don't mind this. This is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> there's a huge gateway. And <laughs> there's this small little hallway. But it's fine. It's it's cool. I can I can live with this. That's pretty neat. I still kind of want to change this. This is the weird. This is probably the weirdest shape I've ever built. It looks weird, but it's kind of cool on the other. I might. I may. I may just replace the gra glass roof with wood. Before before you guys start commenting like the glass isn't really fitting here, I may just replace it with wood at some point. Not sure yet. I want. I want. To, I want you guys to see the lighting. I need to bring these. Dang it. We're super heavy. So, yeah, as far as this ha this place goes, it's amazing. I like it. It's such a huge thing. This could be a base. I mean, I could easily, easily live in here as well. But I chose not to do it. You know, I have a house, and the house is already way too big for me, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep it as this. Uh, I should have probably made this out of wood. Whatever. Let's, let's, let's just go. We're filling it up. Let's go all the way. Dang it! All the way to the ceiling. Is that the ceiling? No. We're coming short. Dang it. See that? I hate that stuff. Just. There you go. One more. There you go. One more here. Huh. No. There. There you go. One more. Real. In this corner. Okay. That's sealed off. We have one more left. That was like super. Extremely well calculated. We need a gate. Dino gate. Dino gate. Behemoth gate. Use. Put it in there. Manual. Look at that. The, the speed at which we're working right now. Dee -dee 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 -dee. This is going to have a dino gate right here. Bam. Whistle you. It's fine. We're going to have to seal that off with some walls up there. But, you know, that's something we can always do. Like that. It's going to be sealed off. We're going to have a dino gate. Leads down here. Go to the hatchery. Go outside, you know, go wherever you want to go. This is great stuff. And we got this cool glass roof. That's that's really awesome. Now, you. Last thing. Because I wanna I wanna I want you guys to see the lighting. I'm gonna skip until night time just to see the lighting, because I think it's gonna look awesome. I'm just gonna place these guys like right here on the edges. Uh or on in there. Probably like this. Just in the middle. And I have power running all the way uh, through the place. And I make sure these are all centered in there. And then I'm going to color them different colors. Kind of like a rainbow. Following the color pattern, you know, in the actual palette. So go like, you know, yellow, orange, whatever, red. I don't know how it works, but I'm going to Google it. We're going to go ahead, place all these. And they should give this awesome rainbow glow over the side of the building inside of these gaps. But it should do it on the front of this. And that is what I think is going to look amazing. But I guess we'll figure that out. I'm not sure if I'm putting a light there. Um, I'm going to bring you guys right back as soon as it hits nighttime so we can see these lights. And um, that's going to be it, I think. And we, There's no way I can fit more in there. Not today. Alrighty, guys, and we're back. Now, this is the lighting, and it worked out a little bit different than I had hoped because I forgot about the fact that that the colors are going to travel through the walls as well. 
so they're kind of mixing up. Some colors are kind of faded out. Uh, blue, for example, doesn't really look blue. It kind of looks, I don't know, white, really white. I don't know, but it still looks kind of, it still looks kind of cool. It basically goes green, something between green and blue, then blue, then something between blue and red, then red, and you see they're mixing up. So this is kind of, I don't know, you know, I guess they're supposed to mix up. But since they're shining through the walls, you can see that this is blue light, but the light here is greenish, and there's also red light, or pink light, which is coming from, like, over here. So, yeah, that's one of those things, but honestly, it still looks really, really cool. I love it. It has all kinds of colors in the walls, and someday I'll, I'll find out how to do it right. <laughs> but basically, just follow the color palette and pick the main colors, like red, uh, green, and blue, and... Every light you go, for example, green, and then you go between green and blue because blue is the next one on the chart as a main color. Just go a color in between those. You both you activate both colors, and it kind of mixes them up. This is blue, actually. Hold on. This is a mix. This is green is to our left, blue is to our right. So this is green and blue at full power. That's basically how I did it, and it should, in theory, make a rainbow. Uh, didn't 100% succeed, but it still looks cool. Anyways, you guys, uh, we did so much work today. The barn is kind of done. The barn itself, the, there doesn't seem to be anything left to do in here. still want to get a pillar in this corner, though. It looks like it shouldn't be floating with, like, a super heavy wall on there. But, yeah, uh, it, it's freaking amazing. We're going to be able to park tons of dinos in here. There are several levels of parking, and I think the dinos are going to love it. There's even an aviary up here, even though we don't really need it. Glass roof. Oh, God. It's amazing. We have a tree growing in the middle. You know, it's going through the roof, but we don't look at that. That's something we just don't look at. That's how it is. And then we go down here, and we're going to have a, you know, soon-to-be hatchery slash uh, breeding area. And, as, and then we have, like, an emergency entrance slash exit. I love it. I think it's a really, really cool build. Yeah, definitely. It's one of my favorite. Definitely. Because it doesn't take up a whole lot of space, but it is still humongous. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you want to see more of ARK and me playing it, don't forget to subscribe either, you guys. But for now, until next time, bye!